Hello students, it's your professor Dr. Mink and this is a short video tutorial. I have um, chapter 3-11's uh, tutorial open, the room charge calculator, and in the second lecture for chapter 3 we talk about tab index and uh, the order in which you tab through um, objects on the form that have tab stop set to true. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on text nights, which is a text box, and I have its tab index set to zero, tab stop set to true. If that's set to false, it will not stop there when you hit the tab button. That has to be set to true. Text nightly charge, tab index 1. Text room service, tab index 0. What's going on here? Well, let me tell you why there are two zeros. These objects are in a group, group box 1, and its tab index is 34. These are in a group box and its tab index is 35. So the lower group box tabs will be um, tabbed to first. Let me show you how this works. So I'll run the application and obviously zero comes up first, the tab index zero. I'm going to tap the tab key one time. There it goes to one, zero, one, two. Okay, so that's one way, and if you continue, there's other items in other groups. So there is another way to change the tab index. And you go to the view, and you select tab order. And you'll see group dot tab number. So this is group 34.0, 34.1, 35.0, 35.1, 35.2. These have tab stop uh, off, so they're not. There's the tab is not going to stop at those. And you can click around it. To be honest with you, I don't like doing it this way. It's not uh, as uh, concise as actually setting the order in the properties. Uh, in the properties window, but you can do it this way. I could, I could go and I could change things. Um, yeah, check that, check that to zero, and then check set that to one. And if I turn tab order off, I run the application. Let's run the last one. I don't know what's going on there? It starts now at nightly charge being zero and nights being one. Hope this was useful. Obviously, if you have any questions about um, tabbing, you know how to get a hold of me. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.